Neat Foam Professional Baseball's 2019 postseason begins this Saturday, October 5th. Three out of six teams from each league qualified. The regular season champions get a first round bye, and the other two meet in a best of three wildcard series. I'll give you my predictions for how I think this will all turn out, but first, for those who didn't follow during the regular season, I'll tell you a little bit about each team, how their season went, and what kind of weapons they have. In the Central League, the Yomiri Giants finished first for the first time since 2014, up from a third place finish last year. They spent most of the year in first place and won the league title by a comfortable margin. This year saw the return of legendary manager Tatsunori Hara, who won three Japan Series titles when he managed there between 2002 and 2015. The team struggled during his brief retirement, and he was brought back to return the Giants to the top. Two-time reigning MVP, Yoshihiro Maru, was acquired last offseason, and though he hasn't put up MVP numbers this season, his 27 home runs has certainly helped. Fifth-year outfielder Kazuma Okamoto hit 31 home runs of his own, but neither of these men was the star of the team. That honor goes to veteran shortstop Hayato Sakamoto, a 312 batter who hit 40 home runs, the first shortstop to do so since 1985. Pitching was led by Shun Yamaguchi, who was the league leader in wins at 15-4 with a 291 ERA. Tomoyuki Sugano, a two-time Sawamura Award winner, was 11-6 with a 389 ERA. As you can see, this team has a lot of weapons. Central League runner-up and host for all three games of the first round of the Climax Series, the Yokohama DNA Bay Stars. This will surprise you if you followed the league 10 years ago but haven't paid attention since. The Bay Stars were the Central League's annual doormat for a long time. But since the arrival of Alex Ramirez as manager, they've become annual contenders. Two years ago, they reached the Japan Series, but lost in six games. One name you should get familiar with is Yoshitomo Tsutsugo. Not only is he one of the league's top sluggers, it's very likely you'll see him in MLB in a couple of years. This year he hit 29 home runs, but was upstaged by teammate Neftali Soto, a former Cincinnati Reds first baseman, who led the league with 43 home runs. Yasuaki Yamasaki led the league with 30 saves and carried a 195 ERA could be very useful in the late innings of a close game. The Hanshin Tigers grabbed the final spot on the final day of the season, beating the Chunichi Dragons and eliminating the Hiroshima Carp. The win put them a half game ahead of the Carp, and a half game behind the Bay Stars. Not much power in this lineup, not one player was in the top 10 in the league in home runs. If this team is going to win in the postseason, they're going to do it by keeping the score close and making it a battle of the bullpens in the late innings. The Tigers have a great 1-2 punch in relief, both of them former Chicago Cubs pitchers. Rafael Dolis had 19 saves and 10 holds, ERA at 211. Kyuji Fujikawa had 16 saves and 23 holds, his ERA was 177. Over to the Pacific League, first round bye goes to the Cebu Lions, who won their second regular season title in a row. They won consistently throughout the season, then surged towards the end, including a stretch in August and September when they won 17 out of 21 games, propelling them to first place, where they've remained ever since. 24-year-old Tomoya Mori won the batting title and hit 23 home runs. Hotaka Yamakawa was the league's home run king with 43. Takeya Nakamura added 30 of his own. Nakamura, Yamakawa, and Mori were 1, 2, and 3 in the Pacific League in RBI. No team came close to the Lions offensively. Starting pitching is a concern for the Lions with no true ace in the rotation, but the bullpen is strong. Closer Tatsushi Masuda had a 181 ERA while earning 30 saves. Two-time defending Japan Series champions, the SoftBank Hawks are the first wild card. They've been a consistent winner throughout the season, with no winning streaks or losing streaks over five games. This was a slugging team. No one in the lineup batted over 270, but there was plenty of long ball. Cuban outfielder Alfredo Despaine hit 37 home runs to lead the team. Pitching is good up and down. Their ace is Kodai Senga, who picked up 13 wins and had a 279 ERA in 180 innings. Yuito Mori made 54 appearances in relief, recording 35 saves and 7 holds. And the last wild card goes to the Rakuten Eagles. Rakuten surprised everyone by jumping into first place early in the season and holding on to it for a little while. Since then they've dropped down the ladder, settling in at third and fighting off the Chibalote Marines to hold on to the final spot. A pair of heavy hitters lead the way for the Eagles. Hideto Asamura and Jabari Blash each hit 33 home runs. Starting pitching could be a problem, but if it comes down to the ninth, advantage Eagles. Yuki Matsui's season ERA was 194 on the way to his league-leading 38 saves. So, how do I think it'll turn out? Well, let's go back to the Central League wildcard. Here I'm taking the Bay Stars to defend their home field and beat the Tigers in two games. Bay Stars have the better offense and better starting pitching, and they're playing at home. 
In the Pacific League wildcard, I don't think it'll be close. Most of Rakuten's success came in the first half of the season, while SoftBank has been consistent all year. The Hawks are loaded with veteran players who know how to win in the postseason. SoftBank in two. The two wildcard winners advance to meet the regular season winner in a best of seven series. The top team not only gets a first round bye, but also gets all games of this series at home. The Giants and Bay Stars met six times in December. Five of them were won by the Giants, and that winning will continue in October. The Bay Stars are overmatched in every category. I predict some high scoring games since both teams have a lot of power in their lineups. Giants in five. In the Pacific League, we'll see a rematch of last year's final stage. Last season, the Lions topped the regular season standings, only to be upset by the Hawks in six games. They won't let that happen again. This will be a close series. The Lions have the league's best offense. The Hawks have the best pitching. It will go a full seven games where the Lions will win and move on. This sets up a rematch of the 2008 Japan Series, which the Lions won in seven games. It's also a matchup of each league's best offenses. These teams met three times in June, all at the Lions' home field. The Giants took two of three. The Lions have a good bullpen, but the Giants have a much better rotation. Giants, in six. That's it. Leave a comment letting me know what you think. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more baseball videos. Until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya!